Hey, uh, good morning, afternoon, evening. Don't know where it is where you're sitting down, but it's morning here. We're gonna try a, we are going, I am going to tie a trout clouser jig. I call this the golden crawdad. This is a fly, you can swing it, you can jig it under an indicator, you can swing it under an indicator. It's a trout streamer and uh, it's a real good fish catcher. You like this color combination in the waters you fish? You want to give this a try. So I've got a uh, somewhere I have a Gamagatsu 60 degree jig hook. Um, this is a number uh, four or it's a two. You know, honestly, I'm not sure. But what you can do is adjust your hook size to the fish you want to pursue in an area. If you're fishing bass, guess what? This would fish very well for bass. You might want a uh, might want a bigger hook. So I'm going to try this right now with uh, double pupil lead eyes in orange. The choice of eyes on these hooks is really up to you in terms of uh, the eye you find attractive, the eye that's big enough to put the fly down in the, the depth you want to present it. Um, so I, you saw me wind my thread all the way down, all the way back up because I kind of lost track of what I was doing. I want to, now this is a Spirit River UV, UV2 bucktail. I'm gonna put on, you can call this a tail, you can call it, uh, it's gonna stick out a ways. I'm gonna pull a few of these long ones out. Um, tie it in right here. Wind it all the way to the back. I'm gonna put in a little bit of, find it here. A little bit of, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna put some copper ice wing in the tail. And then I use ice wing, I use gold in the front part of the fly. So let's have some copper back here. And some gold up front, there we go. Now for the body. Let's use, this is a gold, it's a hollow gold flat braid. Uh, I like Lagerton. Hairline makes a very nice product as well. Now you could use a chenille here. Uh, you could use a, a gold chenille. These all sorts of things. I like it just like this. So now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna tie in, turn the hook over, and I'm gonna tie in some more of this orange UV2 bucktail. This stuff is really nice, bright. It really shows up nicely. There we go. So I like to trim my materials first, but I got a, the ends are a little bit too gnarly there, so let's trim that up. I'm using a Danville's 210 denier thread, nice and tough. Gonna hold it real well. Got a little bit of Loctite here. I 
Now I'm gonna, um, I'm using a Senyo's chromatic brush. These brushes, I, I just can't tell you how much fun they are. How much they help our fly tying process. I'm gonna be a little bit, I'm gonna do something you've seen me do on other flies. I'm gonna take a turn. Making sure I don't wrap too many. It's okay to wrap a few hairs under, not too many. The reason I'm doing this, so now I'm gonna, um, gonna part this brush so that I can wind over it a couple times. Because what I want to do now, I want to add my gold ice wing at this point. Not too much, not too little. I probably got too much here. Yeah, it's more than I really want. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get this straight out. So there, tied on this side, two turns. Move it over, tie it on the other side, taper it a little bit. Now again, I'm going to add some micro grizzling legs. And you could use all kind, all, all sorts of colors of rubber here. The rubber isn't a must-have, but I consider the rubber legs a nice-to-have. And there isn't a precise formula on how many to use. I got five or six there. On one side, tied on the other side. Now, I'm going to get back to wrapping, and I'm pretty sure this is a midnight brush. We're gonna get that sorted out in the materials recipe. This, uh, this material, the, the brush has a little bit of kind of bluish, purplish, lavender-ish flash in it. So now I want to, before I, you know, if I just wrap my thread over that, it's just going to, it's going to make a pretty thick wad of hair. So I'm trying to part it so that it won't. I think I did it. I get pretty lucky sometimes. Trim. Now I, there's always, you know, like eighth of an inch or sixteenth of an inch of that wire that sticks up. You push it back. Now, there's no need to wind, um, you know, put dubbing or something to cover up your thread wraps here. Uh, this is a real buggy looking flight. You certainly could. You could add, you could put some Senyo's laser dub at the forefront of this fly. I'm going to spread out my rubber legs a little bit. Actually, I'm going to spread out my rubber legs a lot. A little drop of Loctite. At the very end. So here you go. We have a trout clouser jig. You can swing it. You can indicator it. This is the golden crawdad flavor. Um, real buggy, real fishy. Hope you have some fun tying this and get the opportunity to fish it. Thank you.